Uh, in my opinion, uh, if uh, Romney, in fact, were able to win this election, I think it will be very, very positive uh, for the stock market. Uh, if, on the other hand, Obama wins, uh, then uh, clearly uh, the focus is going to turn immediately to the fiscal cliff. Uh, and uh, how that will get resolved remains very much to be seen. Uh, but it has uh, left left undone uh, to uh, for the tax the tax cuts to expire and the deficit cuts to be put in place potentially has very dire consequences for the U.S. economy. And since the U.S. economy, at least at the moment, of the world's large economy seems to be, uh, uh, in fact, in a little better place than the Eurozone and uh, Asia, for example, China, uh, anything that at this point would derail the U.S. economy certainly cannot be good for the overall world's economies. So which sector is interesting and worth investing in? Well, you know, believe it or not, it's at this point, it almost pays to do nothing till after the election. Because depending on who gets elected will probably have a big influence on which sectors will benefit from the next four years depending on who is in office. So. I think we better hold off on that answer uh, to that particular question. To me, there is no sector worth investing in now. Well, if you look at today's performance, the market up 94 points. Uh, clearly, the entire market at the moment uh, seems to be uh, seems to be be reflecting uh, uh, perhaps uh, perhaps the you know the fact that we've seen much much better results in the financial sector from, from earnings, uh, the, the banks, and big money center banks. I can tell you this, that the groups that remain strong uh, are the pharmaceuticals and the financials because of Citi's earnings today and J.P. Morgan's earnings last week. Uh, so those two sectors remain favorable, but I really think that the election absolutely creates a huge potential unknown. And I think it's very difficult to, to commit funds today uh, for what we think might or might not happen in the next two or three weeks. Uh, I think discretion is the better part of valor. Even if we had to pay a little higher, assuming that it was a Romney victory, uh, uh, I, I think that I would, I, would pref I would prefer to wait rather than, rather than guess. I mean, we have, to, in theory, a 50-50 chance of, uh, of, of, of being right or wrong. Perhaps one sector, though, would would be uh, the pharmaceutical sector, because no matter who's no matter who's elected, I think big pharma uh, 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 is probably a sector that we want to own. Number one and number two, uh, just companies without any regard to sector, good companies, pristine balance sheets uh, that pay good dividends, uh, also. Uh, uh, also probably should be part of anybody's portfolio because no matter who's elected, as long as the U.S. stays in this zero interest rate environment that we're in, clearly clearly companies uh, with good balance sheets that pay good dividends and have a history of increasing their dividends are going to be in demand.